Right Get price. Well now, 651 Ingham Road, Townsville. Sold down the front at 10,000. Right there. Right here. Right there. For JCB Construction Equipment. On FM. Hi there with the latest Southern Cross News. I'm Kate Retsky. Former Labor Party leader Simon Crean is the big winner in the PM's cabinet reshuffle. Julia Gillard handed over education and workplace relations to Mr Crean, who passes trade on to Foreign Affairs Minister Stephen Smith. While dumped PM Kevin Rudd is only a chance to return to the front bench if the government is re-elected. What I have said to Kevin Rudd is I would be absolutely delighted to see him serve as a senior cabinet minister in the team if the government is re-elected. Australia will continue to set its own path forward from the GFC after the G20 acknowledged a one-size-fit-all strategy wasn't the best approach. Deputy PM Wayne Swan says he's come away pleased with the final declaration from the summit of world leaders in Toronto. Countries will try and half their debt by 2013 while Australia will try to get back into surplus. Two teenagers have been reported missing in central Queensland. 15-year-olds Alyssa Jenkins and Taylor Paradis haven't been seen for days. It's believed they could be on their way to either Proserpine or Brisbane. A Queensland jury continues its deliberations this afternoon to decide if former surgeon Jane Patel is guilty of killing three patients and permanently injuring another. Patel has pleaded not guilty to manslaughter and causing grievous bodily harm during his time as a director of surgery at the Bundaberg Base Hospital between 2003 and 2005. One of the Australians injured in a speedboat accident in southern Thailand has been released from hospital. More than 40 people were thrown into the water when two boats collided near Koh Samui late Saturday night. And more awards for Ellen. The Ellen DeGeneres Show named the most outstanding talk show at the daytime Emmys. Sport next. Rivers Men's Business Shirts, $9. 29th of June to 2nd of July only. Your local store may have lots or none. The World Cup continues tonight. The Netherlands play Slovakia and Brazil meet Chile. The NRL welcomes back Mark Gasnier, who signed with the Dragons until the end of 2014. His new deal is worth just under $2 million. His first game back will be against Penrith next Monday. Meantime, Canterbury will look to snap a six-game losing streak tonight when they take on the Raiders as round 16 of the NRL wraps up. That's the latest. I'm Kate Bretzky. <laughs> 